Hello everyone. Well, you guys have been asking and uh, we're going to answer you. So today we're going to cover how we actually plant the green bean grid system. Let's jump into it. First of all, we're going to drive a stake in the ground. And the reason for this is so that we can run a string line down through the garden to give us a reference point. So I'll go ahead and walk down here, put another stake in the ground. Right about here. Next, I will get our string line, put this on the post. We want to leave it up a little bit so we have room for our rake. That way there's plenty of room to work with there. Take our string line down to here. Give it a few wraps. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight is usually good enough to hold it. We can take the bale here, place it there just to add a little bit more pressure if we need to. Next, we're going to go ahead and rake and get rid of all of this uh, wood chip material. It is what we use to cover the ground here on the farm. Uh, you may be using hay, you may be tilling. Either way, we can go ahead and show you about what's going on here. So I'm going to go grab my rake next. And we'll start raking this material away. And as you can see, we're just trying to get it down to the soil. down to the soil if you like again if you've already tilled your soil if that's your method then that's already been accomplished here it's getting down to that just like so you can get a few more of these wood chips off of here now there are two ways we can do this the first way is that i'll show you that first as if you're doing tillage We'll take our rake right down here into the soil and we'll just shimmy it back and forth a little bit just to create a nice little groove there for our seeds to go in. We'll come along and just keep doing the same thing in the same fashion. As far as the depth I usually plant is right around a quarter inch deep. I know most of these seed packets say to put it like an inch and a half deep and things like that, but it's from our experience here, that's just way too deep for things like that. As you can see here, we have our green bean seeds. These were purchased from Territorial Seed Company. And these are Blue Lake Bush Bean, number 274. Next, we're gonna grab our beans just like so. Get a handful. I don't like to fill it up too awful much because then they wanna fall out of your hand. We'll set our seeds down there nice and gentle-like. Now we're going to plant these in an 18 inch grid. So this is how I go about this. Oddly enough, my foot happens to be right about 12 inches. So what I will do here, we'll start a little bit closer to this post. What I will do is I'll simply set my foot down and get a gauge for about how far apart to plant the seeds. So I'm putting that one right there on 18 inches. And this one will go right here at the end of the tape measure. I've got a nice little visual way to see how far to put the seeds apart without using a tape measure every single time. So what we'll do at that 18, inch, uh, 18 inches, we'll take our step forward at about the same depth, excuse me, at about the same distance, and place your seed. Take your foot, move it up, and place your seed. So there we go. They're all right about 18 inches, close enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, just close enough. You don't necessarily have to do the string line here if you don't want to. It just has to be close enough. So what we'll do next is we'll just take some of the soil that we, that we raked back right here and we'll sprinkle it over top of the seed. And the same with this and the same over here. I don't really want to rock in there, but and we'll do the same here. Then what you can do is just go ahead and fill all this back in just to make it look pretty. We've planted our first row of beans here. So now we're gonna go over to the second row. What I'm gonna do next is take the string off, 
We're gonna measure over it a little bit and get this process rolling. So now we're gonna take our tape measure, measure over 18 inches. Again, it doesn't have to be exact. These beans, when they're growing, when they reach a certain point, they're gonna start falling over and going where they wanna go. Again, it does not have to be perfect. I'm just showing y'all how we've done it in the past, and maybe this will help y'all out to figure out a way that y'all wanna do it. There we go. Now we'll grab our next stake, go down here, and also place this one at 18 inches apart. Right about there. It'd be nice to have a hammer. That'll work good enough. Eight. Grab our rake again. Now, this time I'm gonna show you how we do this utilizing wood chips ground cover instead of tillage one of our paper chains there it happens we try to get them all but sometimes we miss them we'll grab our seeds again grab another handful this is almost exactly identical to the one we just did a minute ago so i'll place my seed i already know about what distance like so. Now, the difference with this is that we're not gonna cover these seeds up at all with any soil, being as we're utilizing these wood chips here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find some media here that's really fine. Uh, things about this size you probably don't wanna have for your cover, but we'll grab something about like this. And what we'll do is we'll go up here and just put about an inch of wood chips on each seed. See, that's a little bigger than I like. Find a little bit more of the wood chip media here. Just about an inch worth. What that does is that uh, these wood chips, after you water it, will provide moisture for the soil. The seed does not have to be in the ground in this situation because the seeds already know what to do. They know that the green needs to go up and the roots need to go down. So that's about it with this one, guys. So long and short, this is the grid system. You would just continue on for whatever space you wanna fill. Now this method, I'm not the only one who's done this. There's other people out there who've done this method as well. I turned this on to a buddy of mine year, uh, a couple years ago. He's been gardening since he was a child and he's in his 40s now. So now he's using the grid system himself. He's doing it at one foot spacing, but he's planting about this time of year here in Southwest Virginia, which right now is right about the beginning of June. He already has his beans planted. He may have done that within the last week or two. He has done the system and he swears by it as well. He gets so much more yield than doing a first, second, and third picking. He loves it, he enjoys it. They're so happy that the, the, the lack of work that they have to do now for their green beans for their harvest, you know, to do your winter canning and all that. You might have to weed it once or twice after these seeds start to pop up. But after that, you get a canopy and all the weeds are gonna be all covered up. So. That's about it guys, just wanted to show you all that. We're gonna go ahead and put the original green bean video behind this one. If you haven't seen that, it'll be right there ready for you. But if you wanna go check out the original, uh, that's A-OK. -okay. Uh, when we recorded that particular bush bean system that you're getting ready to see now, this channel didn't actually exist right then, so we were not able to uh, show you guys how to plant. So we're going ahead and showing y'all real quick right now. We're gonna pull these seeds back out of the ground. We are not actually planting now. We're gonna wait until around July to do our planting. Well guys, we appreciate it. If you enjoy this type of content, be sure to give it a subscribe and also give hit the old like button if you don't mind, that'd be great. You don't have to, it's your choice, but we'd appreciate it. Thank y'all so much, we'll see you soon. All right everyone, today we're gonna talk about green beans. What we've done here is we've planted them in a grid, the grid is right about 18 inches or so. As you can see quite a few beans there. About 18 inches. This is how we've chosen to do this stuff. We have tried it in a one foot grid previously. 
and we haven't got we have not been able to get quite as much yield as we have have planting these at about 18 inches so what you can see me doing here is I'm just pulling them up this is the first and last picking I'm pulling them up and putting them in the trailer reason why I'm doing that is because we can take these up to a different spot and handle all these beans while standing up instead of bending over to pick all these and there again not concerned about a first or second picking when we plant them this densely it's not an issue whatsoever the way our grandparents taught us to do this was to plant yourself a row and leave yourself plenty of room so you can get your tiller through well you can do that if you want but you're gonna be messing up your root system it grows way out and out from the plant the roots actually go quite a bit quite a bit off to the side and so because they're so dense many things happen here it actually keeps the soil nice and protected keeps the moisture in and also as you notice we're going through here we don't really have a whole lot of weeds here's one to speak of but as you can see it has no root to it very easy to pull up here's another example of that next to no roots whatsoever so what happens is the weeds start trying to compete for the sun against the green beans and they try so hard to get going up in the air to get sunlight they don't spend any of their energy trying to develop roots <clears throat> so there again saves us from having to till saves us from having to bend over pick and pick and pick saves us on water don't have to water as much saves us on weeding and saves us time not going through doing a first second or third picking we did plant these a little bit late compared to what we usually like usually we try to get the beans in the ground by July 4th for our area here in southwest Virginia that's what our goal is anyway but this time we were a couple weeks behind so we didn't get these planted really until the middle of July but we just went right ahead and planted them a little bit spaced out more like I said uh, 18 inch grid and it's worked out pretty good this is probably the best yield we've ever had so I think from now on we are gonna go ahead and go with the 18 inch grid all right looks like our trailer is getting pretty full here Ugh. Another quick look. Pretty good yield. Pretty good yield for sure. All right, looks like we have enough on the trailer here. Now we're going to take these up into a shady area, though it's not particularly hot. But just more convenient and more comfortable to be able to pick these beans off the vine. Let's go ahead that way. Now, what we'll do is we'll get these off of the four wheeler. Then we don't want these sitting in the sun because we've just picked them so therefore we're going to get them over here and into the shade so just lay them right over there in the floor you could do the same with a, a shade tree a shed carport whatever you want to do today's not super warm it's only about 80 degrees Fahrenheit out here or so but why not stay cool while we can uh, 
as you can see out in the field there, or out in the garden, we're basically harvesting a third of that patch at a time. We harvested a third last night, yesterday evening, and we pulled off about a bushel of green beans. So here's a couple tools we use. We use a snow shovel. It's just a great big dustpan. Then a broom just to kind of help clean stuff up. As we pick these, we're just going to go ahead and put them right back inside the trailer. Now you notice the nice thing about this here is that we can also just go ahead and break these off to make it easier to see. Because as you can imagine, the beans do blend in pretty good. Look at that. Nice size beans there. So, we just throw them here on a table. Pull them off as we stand up relatively straight in the shade with a nice little breeze on this 80 degree day. I mean, if you guys prefer to do a first and second picking, bending over with a bucket, scooting your butt along the ground, more power to you. Once we figured out this grid system, we said we're never going to go back to picking a first and second picking again. It's just so much more pleasurable doing it this way. Just go right to town. Even get you a little potato bug on you here and there. The Mexican bean beetles, I believe, is what these guys are called. And there's their eggs. Or... <laughs> That's the larva. The first stage of their life, then they transform into more of a hard shell. <laughs> but long and short, we plant these beans later in the season for another reason as well. And the other reason is that we don't want these bean beetles to be a major problem in our garden. After the solstice, the summer solstice, they all slow down quite a bit. All the bugs slow down quite a bit. So that's why we're doing it after, after the solstice. And for our area, again, it's Southwest Virginia, it's just enough time to get these beans going. Right now is October 2nd. So these plants have just finished up their blooming. And so we're getting a full yield off of these, which is very nice. Best we've ever had. Well, guys, we greatly appreciate it. We hope this is uh, informative for you. This is a trick we learned a few years ago ourselves, and we love it. It's great and wonderful. Superb way to go about it. Well, guys, we appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to go ahead and give it a like and subscribe. We're going to be providing more videos that are kind of like this in the future. Hopefully we can teach you all a little something that we've learned from the past. Like I said, this has been an awesome trick, and I hope that you all can utilize it as well. Thank you all so much for watching. You all have a good one.